Hey, Ray here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. Today, you'll get a quick overview of the WordPress full site editor. This short clip is from a tutorial where we build a wedding videography portfolio from scratch. Check out the description to watch that step by step. And let's jump right into the WordPress admin area. We can get there from going to the appearance editor. And this is just going to bring up our template editor up here in the top center. This is the template that we're currently editing. And we're going to jump into this browse all templates in just a moment here. Instead of just pointing and clicking on here, if you would prefer to use the list view, you can enable this option and it's going to give you your entire template layout here where you can see the hierarchy of every level here, every template part. So you got the header template part, the footer and the group, which is the main content. And then when you select any of these items, if you look at the bottom left here, you're going to see the hierarchy of where that block that you have selected is within the entire template. That's a high level overview of the tools that you're going to use to build your templates. Now, the other option to kind of standardize our design is the styles button up here. That's the circle with the black and the white halves. So if we select that, you're going to bring up your styles. And in the last tutorial, I showed you how to pick a predefined style. So if you do this browse styles, 2023 has 11 built in here that you can select from. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go for a completely custom style. I'll hit the back button here and we can go through these options. You're basically setting the wording on your site, the typography, the colors and the layout. And then you can also set your defaults for individual content blocks that will be used throughout the template or the pages in the posts. Let's start with the typography and I'll jump into the text. One thing that I haven't looked at is how to hook this up with a third party service like Google fonts, where you have more fonts available. That's how a premium theme like Divi operates, which I use on a lot of my client websites. They give you more options for the font. But for this, I'm just going to select enter, which gives us a slightly different look than what we had before. And then I'll go back and jump into the headings. I want to make these bold by default. So I'll change the appearance here. And then I'm going to go into the buttons. We will set this to bold as well. And then medium size, which right now it's asking for the pixel size. If I click that button here, we can just select from predefined sizes. So I'll go medium and bold for the button. And we can jump into the colors now. So let me bring up the color palette that I have. I generated this color palette from the site coolers.co. This is my favorite site to do color palettes. And then you can export it and grab all the important information like the hex code, the RGB, if you're using Photoshop. I'm going to load in these two teal colors, which are the primary ones, and then one of the red colors as a contrast, which we're going to use for the button. So let me go into the palette here, and I will set these colors. And one thing I'm not a huge fan of with WordPress is that you don't get the edit uh, pop-up box when you click on these. You have to click this three-dot icon, then edit colors, then click into it. So it's kind of a little bit of a roundabout process. I do wish that they would make that a little bit simpler. Now I'm going to set the contrast color to that red. For the primary color, I'm going to set this to a dark gray. I'm going to do 333. And then for the secondary color, I'm going to do the lighter teal. And to finish up with the tertiary color, we're going to do our darker teal color. So now we got that set, we'll click the done button here. And this just makes everything easier because now we can pick these colors when we're customizing any areas and we want to set the color instead of having to copy and paste those hex codes in there. And if I click the back button here, you can see how all of our elements were automatically updated by what we did here, but I'm going to change a few of these. I just want that red color for the button, but the text we're going to make are gray. Then we can go to the links and this is automatically set to our contrast color, but I also want to set our hover color to that as well. So that doesn't get overridden by another style. We'll go to our headings and we'll set this to our black or our dark gray. And then our buttons, we can set our text color to white and then the background color to our contrast. So that's all I'm going to do with the typography and the colors. I'm just going to show you one quick fix here with the blocks. So we're going to make our buttons uppercase. So if I search for the button block, you notice that they have the group block, which is the buttons block, and then the individual button block. I'm not quite sure which one of these is better to set, but let me go into the button block, which is the individual one. And I'll jump into the typography. And this is where I can set the letter casing. So I'm going to make this uppercase. So let's save this right now. And when we hit the save button, 
you're going to see a few checkboxes here depending on what you edited in the template editor. So right now, we only made changes to our custom styles. So that's all you see here. If we added anything to this template here, it would tell you that we're updating the page template. Or if we made any changes to a template part, such as the header or the footer, it would also show over here because that would apply across all the templates. Let's just go ahead and save our custom styles right now. And I want to start building our homepage layout. So to do that, we can go to the Browse All Templates. And this is a list of all the templates that we have available that run our entire website. We were just looking at the page template, which shows a single page. You also have templates here for search results, archive templates, which are your category or tag pages, single template, which is for single blog posts. And then this home template is just displaying our posts. I wish they would have some kind of better name for this, like the blog template instead of the home template or the post template, something like that. But just keep that in mind when you're building this out. Let's start by adding a new template and we're going to use the front page template to build our home page. Now, as you saw throughout this tutorial, the WordPress full site editing unlocks a lot of capabilities, but it is still in its infancy. There are a few of the bugs that we saw today. I'm sure there's certain features that they're going to continue to add as new WordPress versions are released. It really helps to understand the entire WordPress ecosystem. And to help you do that, I put together a free WordPress training. You can check that out at WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash WP101. Now, if you enjoy working with WordPress the same way that I did and want to take your skills and start freelancing, grab my cheat sheet, 15 tools to start your web design business. You can find that on my homepage, WebsiteProfitCourse.com. And that includes the premium theme that I use, which is Divi. They kind of solved the WordPress full site editing problem. So they got more features than what WordPress currently offers. And recently I switched over pretty much all of my personal websites and client websites to Divi. So if you want to check out that along with a bunch of other tools, grab that cheat sheet. All of these links that I mentioned today will be in the description below, including the one page tutorial guide if you want to recreate what we went through today. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any problems along the way, you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all future WordPress tutorials and web design freelancing videos. Thanks for making it to the end, and I'll link up a few other videos here if you want to keep on learning.